Today I'm making fried mozzarella cheese steaks. These are just like the ones you'll find in any restaurant and a heck of a lot better than any of the frozen ones you'll find in a grocery store. These are the ingredients that you'll need. And let's get started. To start off, I've got an eight ounce block of mozzarella cheese here. I prefer using block cheese over string cheese because it holds up better in the frying process and doesn't ooze out so much. And I'm just gonna cut this in half and then stand it up on edge and slice it right down the middle and then cut this into five equal pieces for a total of 10 cheese sticks per half. An eight ounce block of cheese will give you 20 cheese sticks. And in a pie plate here, I've got about a quarter of a cup of flour and I'm going to coat these, making sure to get the ends as well. And I'm just gonna put them into my colander here and then shake off the excess flour. In another pie plate here, I'm going to crack in two eggs and I'm going to add in two tablespoons of water. And just using a fork, I'm going to whisk this up until it's combined. In another pie plate, I'm going to add in two cups of breadcrumbs. These are Italian style breadcrumbs. I made these myself and I will put a link in the description so you can watch the video as to how I make those. Now to start the breading process, I'm just gonna take the flour coated cheese sticks and put them into my egg mixture. And you wanna make sure that they are completely covered in the egg. Let the excess egg drip off and then place them into the breadcrumbs. And you wanna make sure that they are completely coated in the breadcrumb mixture. And it helps if you just kind of press the breadcrumbs onto the cheese sticks. Shake off the excess breadcrumbs and set them off to the side and continue on with the rest of your cheese sticks. Now I'm going to repeat the breading process again using the egg wash and then going into the breadcrumbs again the double coating of breadcrumbs makes a nice thick coating on the cheese sticks and it also helps prevent the cheese from oozing out as you fry them. And then you wanna put these onto a plate and put them into your freezer to freeze for about two hours before you fry them. Again, it helps to prevent the cheese from oozing out. Then I've got my cast iron skillet here with about an inch of vegetable oil in it. And I've heated this over medium heat to 350 degrees. Make sure to use a thermometer. And I'm going to place the cheese sticks in and I'm gonna fry these in small batches. You don't wanna do all of them at once. And you wanna constantly move these around with a pair of tongs or with a fork or whatever, because you don't want them to stick together or to stick to the bottom of the pan. And when they're a nice golden brown, go ahead and remove them to a paper towel lined plate. And you can see none of the mozzarella oozed out and that's because we froze them and also put a double coating on them. Go ahead and serve these up on a plate with some marinara sauce. And there you have it, fried mozzarella cheese sticks at home. Hope you guys enjoy and thanks so much for watching.